Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Late to the Game. That's who we are. That's what we do. We show up late to every game. I have 17 children, and they all play soccer, football, basketball, hockey, and baseball. And you know what? I show up late to every single one of their games. Drunk. You're just like, <laughs> oh, you did a good job, Billy. <laughs> Dad, we lost. You still kicked a good goal. <laughs> I play basketball. Oh, well, you hit that home run good. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We're playing um, Shadows of the Empire, and Carl's never played it. Carl didn't own a 64. I actually, I didn't either until like way later into the life. I think actually the GameCube might have been just about to come out when I finally got a 64. So I went with the PlayStation. Yeah. But anyway, we're playing Shadows of the Empire. I'm pretty sure it was like a launch title for the Nintendo 64, and it's still one of the best games on the system. Yeah, look at that. That's the Outrider. Whoa. That's that is like, it kind of looks like the Millennium Falcon. Oh, the fucking robot. What's his name? His name is Dash Rendar. That's the coolest name I've ever heard. It's pretty cool. And that's he's a pretty that, cool guy. That's one of the things I love about Star Wars, the awesome names. This is Dash Rendar. I have a supply shipment for Echo Base. Transmitting clearance code now. He is also, like, he's supposed to be the stand-in for Han Solo during... <laughs> Transmitting sexual disease now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, he's supposed to be the, the Han Solo stand-in for Shadows of the Empire. Because the book, Shadows of the Empire, takes place... Uh, look at... Man, they did a good job fucking painting Harrison Ford. Yeah, he's very Han Solo. That looks really good. Yeah. Yeah, Dash Rindar, well, last time we raced, I let you win. Right. right. You'll get your blah, blah, blah job, and maybe I'll take you Oh, back Ice Cube's in this? Oh, no, I read that wrong. Sorry. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> if he If he was in this, I hope that he's like he is in uh, in Jump Street. 21. 21 Jump Street, yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to start from the beginning. That's like my favorite Ice Cube role of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I like, oh, Ice Cube. I was, for a second, I was thinking Ice T, and he's in that stupid, uh, uh, oh, what's the name of that show? The Law and Order? Order, yeah. Oh, it's man. so dumb. If you guys want to watch some hilarious shit, watch John Mulaney. He's on Netflix. He's got the thing, and he, he jokes about Law and & Order and Ice-T, and, <laughs> and it's Ice amazingly hilarious. It is. It's really funny, and it's super accurate, too. He's yeah. like, I love that he treats every case as if it's his first <laughs> case in terms of total confusion. You mean to tell me that that guy gets off on little girls? With pigtails? <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, Ice, he's a pedophile. You work in the sex crimes division. You'll You're going to have to get used to that. that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, that guy's hysterical. Um, okay, anyway, back to Star Wars. Uh, Shadows of the Empire, it takes place um, in between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Okay. So uh, this had, starts a little before, obviously. This starts right at the beginning of uh, Empire. But... Uh, um, uh, I hate when I um myself to death. There he is, little bastard. Yeah, you get him. You get that. I'm gonna get him good. Come yeah. here. Come here. Yeah. If you couldn't tell by our dialogue currently, Chris Ham is the one that is playing this game. Am I? Did I win? No. Yes, I won. Okay, you, have to you have to destroy that. Well, yeah. I mean, there's like three different parts to this. Um, you have to but so. Han Solo's already frozen in carbonite, right? And they gotta go rescue him. So apparently, like, a whole bunch of shit goes down in between the two movies that you don't see in the movies because they wrote the books, like, 20 years after. Right. But it's, it's actually a really good book. Like, for a Star Wars novel, it's probably the only one that I've read and, like, thoroughly enjoyed and was like, yes, this is part of Star Wars. This is what happened. Like... Like the actual storyline that you yeah, get like to, I, I include yeah. it as part of the even though it's just story a book. of Star Wars, even yeah. though yeah, it's just a book and it was written way later by other another guy. But it's like that is good. You find out how Luke becomes like an actual Jedi Knight, 
Like he finishes his training and all that. So basically, and, if you ain't read the book, read that motherfucker. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good book. I'm gonna read it right now while you're playing. I have it. You can borrow it if you'd like. I so never, I read it in like sixth grade and never got rid of it. I was like, I'm keeping this. I thought you were gonna say it in like six minutes, and I was like, damn. <laughs> what are you, Johnny Five? What the hell? <laughs> Johnny Five. Five Ooh, alive. <laughs> No disassemble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to disassemble this big mother. I hope you do disassemble it. I'm going to cheer you on like a cheerleader. Good. Ra, ra, shis, boom, ba, Chris. Good job. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, I should never. Great. I just should never go out for cheerleading. Even though, like, I would. Now that, like, I look back on it and the asses that I could have grabbed. And the thighs I could have rubbed while I was hoisting chicks up onto my shoulders. Yeah. And looking up and just seeing nothing but that, 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 that cheerleader skirt panty that they have to wear. <laughs> Bloomers. Is that what they're called? I think so. I don't even give a shit what they're called. I just know that I want to look at them sometimes. Yeah. Whenever it's I'm a little weird to think about now that you're um, not 18 anymore. Why is it weird? I think it's amazing to think about. I think it's amazing to think about high school cheerleaders? Well, see, I have the ability to transport my mental state back, back to 18 years old again. Yeah. So, like, I don't feel like it's a crime to think about... <laughs> okay, no, that, that makes sense. You're like, I remember what it was to be attracted to them when it was, elite, when it was legal for me to be... You know, attracted to them. <laughs> exactly. So it's... okay. Now I just got this big motherfucker to get him. All right. Are you gonna wrap his? Legs I'm gonna up? wrap his legs up. He's into some bondage. I'll I'll uh, oblige. Oblige that bondage need. At, 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 oh, it's so hard to fly it like this. The camera angle changes. Those are called at 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 a t a t. It's like all terrain attack. Oh God! At at. Yeah! Yeah, you got Ooh. him! That was smooth, What's bro. What's up, bitch? That was smooth. Thank you weren't you. getting pelted with, like, laser beams from all directions. Yeah. That was smooth, man. I got this shit. Oh, God, do I gotta do another one? Is that his dick? Why would it need a dick? I, I think that, like, if I built an at-at... It's a giant at, tank. If, if I engineered an at-at, at, I would put a dick on it just to let everybody know what they're <laughs> fucking with. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen? There's a really funny picture on the internet that's got like two of them humping or something. It's, <laughs> that's like they awesome. look like dogs. It's hysterical. <laughs> that is hysterical. Just in like imagining it. Yeah. I wish I could see I, it. I think it's actually like a whole series of pictures that somebody took like some toys and posed them as if they were dogs. <laughs> like there's one that's like peeing on a giant fire hydrant or something <laughs> with its leg up yeah, and everything. Yeah. Oh man, that's, that's amazing. Good. If you haven't seen those photos, please check them out and then send them to me. My email address is Carlos with a K at gmail.com. Chris Hams is I blow lots of dicks for quarters at live.com. At live.com. <laughs> yep. That's my email address. <laughs> Our show email address is in the show notes, so if you actually want to email us. Oh yeah, and go right ahead. And our Facebook and our Twitter. That's and what I was about to say, dude. Our Facebook Google page is Circle, dude. Go to Facebook, late to the game. We're there. Click on it, like, subscribe, whatever the fuck it is. What did you do to the Facebook pages these days? I don't even know. Carl gets drunk and says weird shit on it. Yeah. <laughs> That's hysterical. Like the people that we know. Oh God, that like our Facebook page. They're always like, I can always tell when it's you posting versus Carl, because Carl just says some nonsense stuff. Which is, and I'm like, eh. which is good for us, because like literally it, it posts late to the game as me, and I'm like, oh man, I wish there was a little bit of separation between the two of us, but it's good to know that people know who's who. Yeah. And if you watch the show enough, you'll be able to know as well. It's <laughs> ridiculous. I'm trying to promote over here. No, no, it's good. It's good. <laughs> All right. Sorry about the ice noises from my drink. And you know what? I don't give a fuck. I hope you enjoy the ice noises from my drink. Oh, God! Oh, that was close. Oh, call. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I'm going to lose it. No, too wide. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry. Hang on.
Gotta, uh, gotta make another pass at this. Oh okay. shit, he's right there. Okay, at first I was like, this ship kind of sucks, but now I'm I'm digging it. I don't know why. It's just got a cool shape to it. Like if I was flying oh, it around. Oh yeah, the, the airspeeder? These things are awesome. Yeah, I wish I had one in my backyard that I could jump in and go to work on. They're, they're like the Mazda Miata of spaceships. Oh, have I ever <laughs> told you what I wish that... Nailed it. Boom! I really wish that hang gliders were the main form of travel. Yeah, you've, ta you've told me about this. Oh man, hang gliders would be amazing. Except you'd have to like... If they were your main form of travel, everybody would need to like live up on top of hills and work not on top of hills. Well, okay, so you know you what? Commute to work. Let, let me reiterate, which isn't the right word, and I don't care, but let me let me reinstate Still my opinion. Right my opinion? If I reinstate it, like I instated my opinion, and now I'm going to reinstate it with a different one. I wish that I was the no. only one that traveled by hang glider everywhere, <laughs> because that would be incredible. Because I would like look down at like 820. We live in Texas, and 820 is one of the major highways. And I'd wave down at people and pee on them while I hang glided over them. <laughs> like, ha ha ha, sucker, just waiting in traffic. I'm just fly over you. I can't even imagine how angry I'd be if, like, if I was waiting in traffic <laughs> and a hang glider dude with his dick hanging out, pissed on my car. I would hunt you down and kill you. <laughs> If you could catch me, I'm in a hang glider. And I'm I... in traffic. Oh, got him. Boom. The only way that would work is if you had like a sniper rifle in your back seat and you're <laughs> like, oh, that Texas. son of a bitch. <laughs> that would likely happen. Just a shotgun even. No, you wouldn't be able to range me with a shotgun. Sure. Totally. Maybe not. I don't know. All right. Well, that was fun. I hope you guys had fun. We'll Wapa see you. Stampa. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Uh, the next episode of our show with this game or another game. Or her. I love you. I love you, viewer. You specifically watching this right now. Listen to my voice. Okay, so just stop. We got to uh, learn how to end episodes. Bye. <laughs>